They've been caught. As today we turn to Colorful Magic, who here in their Twitter bio saying, we are a new, real, a VTuber production as of June 22nd. We are preparing our characters, so please wait a little longer for our debut. As this account has been exploding in followers since its reveal last month, having earlier opened up a form to join the group on June 13th, confirming that existing VTubers were welcome to audition. But unfortunately, they would not be providing any any hardware, or at the start, any pay, saying that those originally joining will help build the company, all while they were looking for four VTubers for their first wave, confirming they are also accepting male applicants and that they are considering merchandise. But not a day later, they would send out this notice, closing the application form and expressing their deepest apologies, saying they have underestimated the importance of all of this and will be suspending activities as colorful magic. So imagine our our surprise when just a week later they had gone on to make this tweet saying that colorful magic has decided to be the first av tuber in the industry that being an adult vtuber you know that kind of adult and saying that the production will continue on as a paid position then posting this very provocative image an image that was quickly found to be from another source with the original illustrator here saying a few people have reported to us that they are using a previous illustrator illustration without permission, please do not support this. So yes, once again, we have a VTuber agency, quote unquote, opening and closing applications within a day and changing direction saying that yes, the talents will be paid now, but they will be adult VTubers and also using artwork that is not their own. Others in the comments, of course, quickly pointed out that this would certainly not be the first adult VTuber or adult VTuber agency, giving such examples as Mellow P. Hart, who is the VTuber for Prestige, a Japanese adult video company, and other groups such as the Unreal Night Girls, who certainly make some very good, um, uh, quality ASMR videos. All right, well, if you are looking for auditions that are at least one step more legitimate than that, we here at Things VTubers Say have our auditions running right now until June 30th, that being for two new roles of Cody and Heidi. Feel free to check the link below. And now, if we're talking about legitimate VTuber agencies. Let's now take a look at Hall Live. Now finally confirming they will be attending Anime Expo with a booth of their own. Also offering exclusive shirts and badges as Hall Live director A-Chan would say, please enjoy the Hall Live production booth at Anime Expo 2022. I want to visit in the future. And also with Hall Live, we have Takanashi Kiara with this Hollow EN member sharing first time going to a Walmart, probably not going again. Kiara can also be found in this recent Hollow Myth fan game with this work entitled The Amelia Watson Case File Number 420. That of course involving Hall Live's number one time traveling detective with Kiara confirming her off collab with Ame saying I met Ame and I ran at her and gave her two big hugs. Ame so cute. And Amelia letting us know eating an egg sandwich while Bubba and I watched Kiara dance in the kitchen. Nice view from the couch. Leading to numerous pieces of fan works that were inspired by this scene, including Nagi bringing us that egg sandwich tasted two times better. Kiara would also go on to share Ame making me iced tea like the mythical Brit she is, with Amelia sharing that Kiara had said Bubba isn't cute, but it's okay. Bubba is getting lots of pets from Ina, that being Hall Live English's Nina My Inanis, who is also along with Galgura, a part of this off collab, and featured in this work with Bubba, that coming from Viragami saying this meme lives rent free in my head ever since Ame tweeted about Ina. And last night, we got this last minute Super Smash Bros. Ultimate collab between the four, complete with a three minute thumbnail saving the day. A-Chan would remark, they look so fun, I'm also so happy to see their off collab, TT, with this session inspiring artwork such as this ice climber Ame Same. But here we have quite the controversy, as shared by Tyler Not Taylor. Ina's Smash Brothers stream ended, showing off the picture on the bottom, which of course is a blatant trace job of Nina Mai's art seen there at the top and more damning is seeing them both superimposed over one another with Tyler Not Taylor saying literally shaking and crying right now. But what had us shaking was this in the description of the video with Ina stating Kali soon TM. Please be patient everyone. Thank you. That of course being the last member not yet there for the off collab. Hall Live English's Maury Calliope posting to Twitter requesting patience since 
since it is no longer a secret, I won't be long now. What also won't be long now is her upcoming music video, premiering on the 27th of June, and even sooner this. Callie tweeting, Speak of the devil, guest appearance. I'm so excited to chill with Mousy and her precious family. Deadbeats, roll up if you'd like. That, of course, being with V Shoujo's Iron Mouse, with Mouse confirming the Friday, June 24th, 10 a.m. date for this talk show and saying, I am so excited to chat and catch up with her. As Mouse also shared, BRB, losing my mind over the fact that Jessica Negri cosplayed me. Yes, it's true. Jessica is here with the Demon Queen Iron Mouse, saying I did a speedrun cosplay build of the incredible Iron Mouse. Hope you like it. Also coming up for Mouse is this officially now at the Anime Expo, a Q&A panel between her and Sea Dog VA on Sunday, July 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific, and the Sunday before that, this June 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern, Mouse will be signing prints, saying thank you to everyone who bought a print from my store on Streamily. We are now completely sold out of both prints. And also on sale are some of the best flavors from advanced remember to use code false for 10 percent off and who's a little off right now is hall live english's auto crony now being featured in numerous music videos due to her new mmd model release but also releasing a voice message saying jumped into the wrong timeline again sag posting this image of the back rooms and saying where am i leading to artists such as daizimi to give us this crony doko back rooms video producer ray 35 lem would give us this work including a special appearance as jazz jack was also on the case giving us this sequence all done in four parts and featuring even more guests calling it the baccaroni this leading to mouse to respond with oh god i see you've made it here too and here's another place many people get lost in yes that's right it's darts now collabing directly with hall alive as we await a full merchandise rollout that may include dart board and also t-shirts. And if you're looking for t-shirts, hoodies, or hats, feel free to check out our merch drop with Uwa Market with the link below. Next up, also with Hall Live Japan, we have Laplus Darkness, seen here in this Dragon Ball-inspired work, with Shibakan giving us this Harox as the first member of Harox, has now become the final member of Harox to announce her 3D unveiling. That coming up on June 27th, HN would also go on record to say Laplus Darkness's 3D debut has been decided. I'm looking forward to next Monday. And coming up tonight at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific, Hollow Star's winning son, Roberu, will be taking on the challenge offered to him from Hecos Bells of Hall Live English. That's right, he's going to get a taste of Australia as he tries out Vegemite for the first time in person. And also in person is Nijisaji English's Millie Parfait, seen here in this stellar cosplay. This offered up by Coscos, saying a monster cat creeping through hell. As Millie would share, I can't stop laughing. Don't expect a serious ASMR from this. That being from Millie off collabing with Alira Pandora of Nijisaji English, with the two creating an ASMR session recreated here by Das Doctor. Millie would also simply tweet out Alira's bare tummy, Teskaru. Further along with Nijisaji English, we have another dragon, that being Selen Tatsuki, who always has some of the highest quality fan art around, including this Love You piece from Pavashiro, as this companion competitive gamer dragon has now hit 400,000 YouTube subscribers, saying it's crazy to see so many of you watch this silly dragon, and we hit the milestone so fast that I haven't finished prepping my gifts to you guys. And also dropping from Niji Sanji is the brand new Nornis unit, comprised of an existing trio of talents, releasing a new music video and song, that being made up of Akane Asahina, Chima Mashida, and Inoue and Toko. And also dropping information on us is Vishojo's horrible creature, Natasha Nyanners recently celebrated her birthday, receiving this work from Qbert, and also being a part of this Race Queen cosplay. That coming by way of Ginny Belly, who will also be at the Anime Expo. This pink cat in her latest stream also happened to leak the new V Shoujo member names. You can tell it's real because it says real in the title. As it appears, V Shoujo is first trying to conquer the Korean pop music market, and then the world. But also taking over the world is V Shoujo's Zen Freya, as the cyberpunk would tweet out, the time to invade is now. Today, unveiling the 2D version of Gecko Zen with gun, there were no survivors. And next with V Shoujo, we have Project Melody, recently taking to stream to show us this, um, surprised face, and be 
being joined by the champion ocean twerker and CEO of Only Whales, that being the jiggly whale girl, Bao. Going on to say being on Lootcast was like a dream. I look up to Mel a lot, but don't tell her. I'm going to be first in line to buy her used chair, by the way. Bao would also let us know that she is currently at VidCon, saying I'll be there from June 22nd to June 26th, so you might see a whale lurking around the premises. And also opening up a second YouTube channel, saying I got a new VOD dump channel that may or may not survive copyright. And yes, this automated tweet also was sent out, letting us know an item on Bao's throne wish list just got fully funded, that being a free space binaural microphone in what may prove to be the very loudest ASMR sessions of all time. Later, Bao would also share, I just got the best, most happiest, most amazing news. I think if my whale tail wiggled any harder, I turn into a helicopter. Goodbye, sea and ground dwellers. Well, we look forward to knowing more about that, but let's now let you know more about Production Kawaii. Informing us auditions for Gen 3 are in full swing. Five new amazing characters designed by popular illustrators are waiting for their debut. Don't miss your chance to become a part of our Kawaii team. With these applications running until July 7th, we also have a very quick update from Uwu Media, the graphics studio who provides numerous assets and backgrounds for numerous VTubers, giving us this announcement. We've been receiving many emails about working with us as a copywriter, talent manager, promoter, rep on OnlyFans. It is not us who have put up these job posts online. We cannot reply to these emails or DMs anymore. Thank you. Good to know. And what is also good to know is that we are coming up on the VTuber Summer Slam, hosted by Gamers Outreach, saying this summer is going to be lit. And yes, things VTubers say will also be taking part in this charity, our very first, starting tomorrow on June 23rd on Twitch and running all the way to the 26th. And also on June 26th, please join us as we are joined by Nana Nan and Nia Suzune of Prism Project, that being part of our weekly YouTube stream. And that is all for this episode. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. Join us for our charity drive on Twitch, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.